It is now Fitness Friday on Abilene Today, where we dig into facts, fiction, and ways to bring more fitness into your life. So bringing you, him to you this morning, Leo Simonetti, here to put us on the path to better health. Good morning, Leo, and morning, congratulations. Thank He's you. He's now a married man. <laughs> All right. He took the plunge. He's got the ring. And off we go. Yeah, hopefully it makes me a little bit more wiser, Life, right? A lifetime of happiness. Listen to your wife. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, this morning we are talking about this new trend. I mean, I saw this. I've got a picture up here, and I thought, why is she sitting on this rolling thing? But this <laughs> is something you're, you're telling me is very beneficial. We were talking before the break. This is something that could help a lot of people out there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Myself included this week. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, um, hip, so today we're talking about hip mobility. And uh, a lot of people um, suffer from lower back pain. They have back issues. They have. They don't have full range of motion within their hips. That would be me today. So, um, in in our our lifestyles that we've adopted, as not just as Americans, but as a 21st century society, we've we've really made it conducive to getting tight hips. Okay. Um, sitting down for long periods of time and doing activities where we're not really mobile, we're not constantly bending and standing up and using our hips. That causes our hips to tighten up. More specifically, there's a muscle, a particular muscle, that I'm going to show you guys how to stretch today okay. called the piriformis. It's a little small muscle in the low back, right in between your hip and right in between your low back, um, that when you sit down, people don't realize this, it really puts that muscle on stretch. So when that muscle's on stretch over an extended period of time, that muscle is working. So while you're relaxing, that muscle's doing work. Okay. Now that causes it to tighten up once you finally do stand up or whenever you lay down on your bed those muscles become really yeah. tight from all that extended use. That's exactly what happened to me this week. Oh, it, one day I got up, and it, as the day went on, it felt like a vice clamp, just tightening down, 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 and getting tighter and tighter mm -hmm. throughout the day. Absolutely, and that's usually where that lower back pain will stem from. Now, that's not the only cause right. of lower back issues, but it could be one of them. For a lot of people, it actually tends to be. In our gym, we've seen a lot of lower back issues yeah. go away after doing uh, a few of these uh, stretches okay. I'm about to show you guys. So today, we're going to use two of them for this foam roller here. All right. For those of y'all that have not seen a foam roller before, um, it's a light cushion, just enough give um, to give you a little bit of a stretch but not cause any damage in the body. So sometimes tight hamstrings will right. be the cause of a lower back issue. Just simply rolling back and forth, putting one leg on at a time will really help with stretching out those hamstrings. It's a lighter version of stretching um, for maybe right after you're done working out, after that body's a little warm. And another great stretch here, I'm going to show you guys that will really target that piriformis. You want to start by cropping your leg over into a figure four pattern. On the top of the roller, you're going to turn yourself over to the side and you're going to roll back and forth. And you're going to have to kind of work a little bit to find that spot. But when you find it, you'll know it. Sit there at that spot for a little bit. About 10, 15 rolls is really going to help you out there. Now, one more great stretch I really want to cover, aside from hitting this crossover stretch here, you can really stretch into it. You get deep in there, and you can really feel it stretching that hip on the side with the leg that's up. And for those of you all that really want to work on it a little bit further into that piriformis stretch, you can drop it down, touch that foot to the ground, keeping this leg on the ground and working that foot up towards your body. That's really good to put that back hand, that back piriformis, the, the leg that's up in the air. It's going to put that, that uh, piriformis muscle on stretch and really help reduce some of the tension that you're feeling in that muscle. So those are just two really great stretches along with uh, a good foam roller stretch there. For those of you all that are experiencing that pain, 10, 15 minutes a day okay. is all you really need to really start working on that. Now, it does take okay. time. It does take a little bit of effort. But um, with, a, with, with extended... Um, um, stretching you know, over the course of weeks and months, you will see some of that pain go away. All right, I'm going to rush out to Academy and get one of those today. Yes, ma'am. All right, thank <laughs> you, Leo. I appreciate this. You've answered a few questions a lot for me. If you'd like or more information from Leo, feel free to contact him on Instagram, Facebook, or his email. All the information there on your screen.